A controversial bill giving the school districts the option of allowing teachers and staff who pass a background check and school safety courses to carry concealed weapons in classrooms, including elementary schools, has passed the Florida Senate Committee on Criminal Justice. Supporters are calling it the school safety bill and say it's a common sense, cost-effective alternative to having school resource officers in every building. The bill sponsors say that the legislation would allow teachers to protect their students in the event of an attack like the one at Sandy Hook Elementary in December of 2012, which claimed the lives of 20 children and six staff members. After the tragedy, NRA President Wayne LaPierre was quick to seize the opportunity to make a statement. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. But a 2014 study by the FBI tells a very different story. The study shows that of the 160 mass shootings between 2000 and 2013, 21 were stopped by unarmed civilians. Only five were stopped by armed civilians. In order to stop a crazed gunman, you don't have to be armed, you just have to be alert. A matching House bill has already passed in two previous sessions and is expected to pass easily this year. The bill's sponsor says that licensed gun owners shouldn't be stripped of their constitutional rights just because they walk into a gun-free zone. Since the massacre in Newtown, there have been over 110 school shootings, and in many schools, active shooter lockdown drills are now as regular as fire drills. Marion Hammer, the National Rifle Association lobbyist responsible for the Stand Your Ground law, is encouraging NRA members to reach out to Governor Scott in support of the bill. But law enforcement groups, teachers unions, and the Florida PTA oppose the bill, which they say would actually put children in greater danger. All it takes is one veteran of PTSD who happens to have a gun in a school to shoot someone or kill himself. And then we're going to have to revisit this. Texas, which already allows guns in classrooms, currently has a bill called the Teachers Protection Act that would allow teachers to shoot and kill students they suspect are vandalizing school property. The bill is now in the Senate Education Committee for pre-K through 12 and must clear the Appropriations Committee before reaching the Senate floor. From Miami, I'm Enrique Beloira.